Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. First, give you a couple quick updates. Uh, some of you might have seen at the end of the last video, uh, Jack from Black Scout Survival's video on the back home kit. I put on there, I'll be back uh, five something something. That was a little bit of a typo. <laughs> that was supposed, I'm not gonna be gone a month. It was more like a week. But uh, what's going on right now, I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break. What I'm doing is, I'm working on bigger things and I'm planning stuff that the bigger productions that are going to start here in about a month and a half and just a bunch of other projects. Uh, I've got a lot of irons in the fire and in order to actually do that I have to stop thinking about the bigger production videos for two seconds. I need time to work. Uh, when all I do is pump out videos, 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 videos. All I have time to do is to think about the videos. I'm not learning anything. Uh, I'm not upgrading stuff. I'm just, I just need time. So the next several videos that I'll be doing, I've got a whole bunch of stuff that is easy. Uh, small things, uh, items, new products, and things like that that don't involve me going out and doing a whole big production in the woods, multiple camera angles and stuff like that. So I'm going to be knocking out some of these uh, small easy things for a little bit while I'm doing work in the background on the bigger stuff. And I'll also use that time to introduce you to some other new channels that I want to introduce you to in case you haven't seen them yet. But so that's what's going on with me. That's what my little break is all about. That's what I'm doing. But today, I actually shot this video yesterday, but there was just way too much noise pollution and things like that, so I'm gonna redo it. I wanted to, sh I, have, I was EDCing two different things that I hadn't shown you yet, and I wanted to use that opportunity to show you. So here's what I'm gonna do today. I've got a new sheath from Doug at Yellowhawk Customs, and it is for the SCHF 42, the new Shrade, the only shrade that has ever made it onto the Jessica list. And I, I, I personally believe that it belongs there. Let me move this over so you can see it a little bit better and uh, we'll talk more about it. All right, so here it is. This is the SCHF 42 sheath from uh, Yellowhawk Custom Kydex. It's a, I still think this is a great knife. It does everything great. It's a good companion knife. It's a good primary knife. It's not a big knife that you're going to chop with and do all that stuff. But in my testing, uh, I, this is, this is a first trade knife that I really can actually say that I love. It's not just a matter of this is a good knife for the budget. You know, it's a good knife in and of itself. Uh, that's why I like it. Some people might have some problems with the recurve, but uh, that's just something that you're going to have to learn to overcome, learn how to sharpen it. It can be sharpened, so learn how. What I like about what Doug did here, first and foremost, let's take a look at the dangler. He made a really long dangler loop for this knife. And what that does is it helps drop that sheath down far enough to where it is right about where your hand would be if your arm is just dangling at its side. And especially if you're wearing an overgarment, like a sweatshirt or a jacket or something like that, it's going to drop the knife down below the jacket so you still have easy access to it. Fit and finish, uh, typical yellow hawk, it's outstanding. I got no complaints whatsoever. The retention, is perfect the thumb ramp is perfect no problems i, I mean I, I love it it's just the, it's not too big it's not too small it's not too bulky it's just right he's got a fire steel loop on the side of course that's kind of a standard thing and he also for a little bit of added flair he put the, a mini bic holder on the front you cannot push it down it locks in, but in order to, you got to push it up from the bottom. Now it is kind of tight and you can't get your finger up too far. So I kind of use the ferro rod to help push that the rest of the way out, but it's nice and secure. So that's why I like about it. Goes in easy, slides in, and then it stops. Got a little bit of extra cordage wrapped around the sheath. It's a perfect companion. This is probably about as good of a sheath as you could expect for this knife. 
And because this sheath is so good, I've lately I've been alternating between this and my LT Wright GNS with the Justin Wolf sheath. So I like using this knife. It's it's a great knife. Brian did a good job on it. You know, the people that gripe about Schrade, you're going to have a hard time griping about this knife. It's really it's really really nice. So that's basically the first thing that I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you this uh, this sheath. Let me put it on real quick just so you can kind of see on body how it hangs. So here it is on me. As you can see, I've got a uh, zipper hoodie on. Drops it just below that. It's right here where my hand wants to normally rest and having that extended dangler this is part of the reason why i like danglers and not a fixed uh, point of contact like a tech lock because even though i can push it off and pull it like that to me it's just easier to be able to grab it turn it hold the sheath and draw it and also to make sure i'm getting it nice and lined up when i resheath the knife so all in all, uh, pretty much a perfect system. Now the second thing I wanted to show you as far as my EDC goes is the folder that I'm currently EDCing. Now I'm going to warn you right up front that this isn't going to be something for everybody. It's not going to be a budget item, so don't get upset with me for it. I'm not saying you have to run out and buy it. I'm just showing you what I've been carrying. I do not normally spend a lot of money on folders. It's just not my thing. I would rather spend money on fixed blades. Probably the most expensive folder I had up to this point would be my uh, Zero Tolerance Zero 560 uh, Rick Hinderer design, great knife. He's got another knife out uh, with Zero Tolerance now that is just freaking insane. I want to get it, but now I'm kind of moving into guns, dropping $300 on a folder. Seems kind of silly to me, but I wish I had it. But there is one particular semi-custom knife that I always liked ever since he first made it and he recently did another run and I'm like, man, it's just calling to me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger and get one. And it's from Browse Blades. Now you've seen me review some Browse Blades before. Uh, he did send me one in the past. Uh, he sent me a Ranger V2, but he's kind of, it, it, I don't like doing those with, I don't like, I like buying my own stuff when it comes to these guys that that are the smaller outfits because then you just get everybody coming to them and asking for free stuff and if it's really worth it you know I got no problem paying for it I, I do it all the freaking time so I'd already got, I bought the silent soldier uh, he sent me a v2 and I got this uh, I got another one that I ended up trading but this is the one that I always wanted this is the silent soldier flipper it is a manual flipper, G10 handles, D2 steel blade, and it pretty much functions exactly the same way the Silent Soldier does. So you flip it open, and then you just slide your hand up here in, in the groove and the finger hole. So it locks in your hand like this. And it's pretty much like a friggin' raptor claw. It's highly utilitarian. A lot of people are going to look at this and see only a defensive knife. Yes, it could do that and it could do it very well for the simple reason is that it's going to be a lot harder to disarm you, knock this out of your hand as it would be some just any old, flip, any old uh, pocket knife. So even if when I got this in my hand, even if someone smacks you real hard upside the head, knocks your hand open that doesn't automatically mean you drop your knife but I like it just because I like Warncliffe style blades I like that that downswept tip with the straight edge extremely utilitarian I use this every day for cutting cord and especially opening boxes opening packages things like that plus it just looks cool that's why I like it I mean it's different it's cool looking I opted I'm like well I liked all of them. I really like the satin. I like the shiny blades, but I figure if I'm gonna spend the money, this ended up this cost me 225 bucks. If I'm gonna spend the money, I might as well spend the extra 25 bucks and get the acid washed. And that's what this one is. 
it's just a cool knife and this is only this is something that mainly only the people that are into the nice expensive folders uh, that would be it that it's something for them it's not for everybody it's not for the man on the budget it's not something that you need it's something that you want uh, and although $225 might seem really crazy to a lot of people to the guys that are into the fancy folders that's a drop in the bucket I know people that spend more than that on Emerson's, uh, Striders, all day long. I mean, I, I know people that don't that have you know, 15 Striders, not one of them cost under $600. Something like this. That's a, this is like a cheap knife to them. So, if the shoe fits, if the shoe fits, I really like it. I've been carrying this for about two weeks. Very useful. The D2 holds a good edge. I think I've only, I haven't resharpened it since the first time. I've only stropped it. I got a strop hanging on the doorknob in my kitchen. Just every once in a while, I'll just take it and strop it a couple times. Brings it straight back to razor's edge. So let's get another quick look at this here real quick. So just putting it on the table to get a good look at it. I like it a lot. I do. This is one of a, th this is out of a thousand. Let's see here. Three, it's got it's numbered on the inside 360 out of a thousand for this particular run. Got brass blades on the clip. Everything's really smooth. The G10's really smooth. Slides in in and out of your pocket great. I'm a big fan of his stuff. I know guys like that to do this the semi custom things, uh, the small outfits pricey stuff that's not for everybody but it is for some people I just wanted to show you what I, since people ask me all the time what I EDC this is what I'm EDC in. it's not what I EDC all the time but I'm just showing you so there you go check out his website link is in the description box below and also from earlier uh, Yellowhawk his link is also in the description box below a lot of different stuff coming up uh, not all that's knives uh, got a new anchor battery pack to test I ha basically have to run my car battery down to test it because the prime function of this anchor battery pack not only will it charge your phone but it'll jump start your car uh, 400 peak amps I'm testing a couple uh, messenger bags from VanQuest I've got I've got several different things that has absolutely nothing to do with knives I'm trying to work more of the EDC the urban stuff the everyday stuff in and not just be totally in the woods and also the I'm probably this week I'm going to be shooting the next uh, PM 101 bookshelf which that's going to be an interesting one because it's getting back to what my original idea was with this channel which I straight away from I've only kind of gone back to it a couple times and that is the prepared mind part uh, the things that I think get left out that help you with preparedness help you be able to deal with things uh, and just make you overall more effective I found a couple things that I want to share with people maybe not everybody's gonna be into it but oh well uh, take what you want leave the rest that's the way I look at it things are in the works I've been doing a lot of equipment upgrades I've got new cameras uh, new camera lenses new tripods and I'm right now I'm working real hard at getting used to this new video processing system Final Cut Pro X and I'm doing a lot of planning for the trips that I'm going on this summer and the things that we're going to be introducing you to then a lot more different people coming into the mix that you're going to see on prepared mind 101 in and apart from the guest channels that are part of like my extended YouTube family uh, keep in mind to keep watching for those gauntlet reviews right now my knife design with LT Wright the JX2 Jessmic is going through the gauntlet as we speak I didn't count my initial uh, test of it as part of the gauntlet Will did the first one Larry Roberts just finished his he used it to do a one stick bow drill fire which, I mean, he just loves doing things the hard way. After that, it's going to Mike Travis, and he's gonna be doing some stuff with it in the woods, and then he's taking it with him on a hog hunt uh, down in Texas. So we'll be able to 
see how that thing does on processing animals and I'm not sure exactly who's going to get it next after that but I'll let you know and then we're going to start throwing some more tools in this mix of the gauntlet going from reviewer to reviewer getting different sets of eyes people that do things differently to hopefully give you a better overall big picture idea of how good this thing really is so also got some more flashlights coming I know people are going to freak out but I got some through nights that I like and I don't care if you don't like them I like them I think they're kick ass especially for people on a budget and I've got some new Phoenix stuff on the way uh, so I'm I am working at getting more of those other brands in the mix to try and even things out quite a bit so that's it for right now I'm Chris from prepared my 101 thanks for watching be sure to click like share and subscribe follow me on Facebook facebook.com forward slash prepared mind 101 and definitely check out the group meeting of the prepared minds if you want to help support the channel and you shop on Amazon anyway check out preparedmind101.com that basically is Amazon but buying through there does help support the channel and if it's something that you need that you're not going to find on my website, all you got to do is click on that little button in the top left-hand corner. It says Powered by Amazon. It will turn into Amazon. You still get Prime. You still get all that stuff. It, it's Amazon. You get whatever you need, and you still help support the channel that way by doing absolutely nothing outside of what you would do already. So really appreciate everybody that watches, everybody that does everything to support me, all the other channels that put things on my channel. Uh, appreciate you all. Be back with some more videos here soon. See you then. It's just the right size. It does just about everything great. Some pe oh, you gotta be effing kidding me.